Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of x to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we have that the square root of x, this is in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of half. Now applying this property, then here we have x to the power of a half raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. The next step is that x to the power of a half raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Now, Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of x over 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. Now, the next step from here is to apply natural logarithm on both sides, such that we have ln of x to the power of x over 2. This is equal to the ln of 2 to the power of x plus 16. Okay. Now, ln of x to the power of x over 2 and ln of 2 to the power of x plus 16, this is in the form of ln of a to the power of b, which we can express as b ln of a. Now, applying this property, then we have ln of x to the power of x over 2 becomes x over 2 ln of x this is equal to x plus 16 multiplied by ln of 2 the next step is let's open the parentheses here so that here we have on the left hand side we have x over 2 ln of x this is equal to x times ln of, of 2 this becomes x ln of 2 then plus, here we have 16 times ln of 2. This becomes, this is 16 ln of 2. Now the next step, let's take x ln of 2 on the left hand side. So that we have x over 2 ln of x minus x ln of 2. This is equal to 16 ln of 2. Two. So let's multiply both signs by 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is x over 2 ln of x then minus x ln of 2 close the parentheses. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 16 ln of 2. So that now 2 and 2 here simplifies. So here we have x ln of x, then subtract 2 times x ln of 2, this becomes 2x ln of 2. This is equal to 2 times 16, this is that 2 ln of 2. Now since x is common here, we have x and x here, we can factor out x so that we have x into the parentheses. This is ln of x minus 2 ln of 2. Close the parentheses. This is equal to that 2 ln of 2. Now, since this is a power, we can express this as x into the parentheses. This is ln of x minus... Now, this becomes ln of 2 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So we have ln of 4. Close the parentheses. This is equal to that 2 ln of 2. Now, we have that ln of x minus ln of 4. This is in the form of ln of a minus ln of b, which we can express as ln of a divided by b. Applying this property, then we have x into the parentheses, 
we have ln of x over 4. And this is equal to that 2, ln of 2. Okay. Now, the next step is let's divide both signs by 4 so that here we have x over 4, ln of x over 4, then divided by 4. So that now here we have x over 4, ln of x over 4. This is equal to that 2 divided by 4. This is equal to 8, ln of 2. Now, we can express 8. 8 is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 2. So we have x over 4 multiplied by ln of x over 4. This is equal to 4 times 2, ln of 2. Remember, this is a power. So this means we can pull it on the right-hand side here. This becomes 2 to the power of 2. And then we have x over 4, ln of x over 4. This is equal to 4 multiplied by ln of 4. This is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. Now, the next step from here, we can introduce the exponent property such that the exponent e to the power of ln of a, this is the same thing as a. So this means that exponent e to the power of ln of x over 4, this is x over 4, this is the same thing as x over 4. So we can substitute x over 4 with exponent e to the power of ln of x over 4. And then we have here, we can express 4, this is the same thing as exponent e to the power of ln of 4. Now substituting this, then we have ln of x over 4 multiplied by exponent e to the power of ln of x over 4. This is equal to ln of 4 multiplied by exponent e to the power of ln of 4. Now the next step from here, we can introduce the numbers w function and in this lambda w function states that the w function of a multiplied by exponent e to the power of a this will give us a value of a so let's apply this lambda w function on both sides so that we have the w function of ln of x over 4 multiplied by exponent e to the power of ln of x over 4. Close the parenthesis. This is equal to the W function of ln of 4 multiplied by exponent e to the power of ln of 4. Now, applying this property here, this, this part here, this is the same thing as a. Remember, it's the same ln of x over 4 and ln of x over 4. So this means that applying the double W function here, on the left-hand side, we have ln of x over 4. This is equal to... Now, if we check on the right-hand side here, applying this Laban W function, this, this is the same thing as a, and also this is the same thing as a. So we have here ln of 4. All right. So... We can simplify here, ln and ln here, so that we have x over 4. This is equal to 4. So let's multiply both signs by 4. And this means that the value of x here is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. So let's verify quickly. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that the square root of x raised to the power of x, this is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. 
Let's substitute the value of x, which is 16. So we have the square root of 16 raised to the power of 16. This is equal to 2 to the power of 16 plus 16. The next step is that the square root of 16, this is the same thing as 4, to the power of 16, this is equal to 2. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 16 plus 16, which is equal to 32. We can express 4. 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Then list to the power of 16. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 32. Now, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 16, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And this implies that we have 2 to the power of 2 times 16. This is equal to 2 to the power of 32. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 32. And this implies that the left and side is equal to the right and side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to 16, satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. If you have alternative method to solve this problem, kindly showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video.